Hey gang, check this out. This is where the can light used to be and they moved it and they used this special Dr. Pepper drywall patch material. I've always seen it at the stores, but I've been afraid to try it. So there we go. Hey gang, my name is Paul. Welcome back to our stud pack channel. We promised you a name reveal at 20K. We hit that yesterday. So thanks so much for all your support for our channel. Jordan, I really appreciate it. Yes, we do. So let me walk you through what I did yesterday. On our last video, you saw us tear down all the wallpaper. There were a few stubborn patches. I got all that down and it was brutal. I tried my best to save the drywall. We can patch that right there, that's fine. Somebody in the comments mentioned a, a steamer uh, and that's a great idea. If this were a whole room, we'd probably get one. But anyway, the wallpaper is gone. So let me show you our next step. We're gonna reframe this shower where all this rotten wood is. Now what I've already done this morning, I got all the plumbing loose. We're gonna talk about this valve later and I got all the electrical loose. So we're gonna cut out these blocks, remove this wall first and work our way around. Now as far as framing, I got up in the attic and the ceiling joists are this way. We have this soffit here. I thought about it a lot and I'm not worried about cutting this out and having, you know, the roof come down on me. And there's a few reasons for that. I mean, this one's already rotten. This is rotten. So this stud is not doing its job now anyway. So the load has already transferred somewhere and it's probably gone to this sheathing. For an example, if I were to cut this stud out, the load from this top plate is gonna go like this to these two studs and the sheathing's gonna help also. Now, if you had a second story above, different ball game, but Anyway, that's my plan. So this sheathing is stapled up there. How do I know? Come over here and check this out. You think they missed a few times? <laughs> they got a rookie on the job? Yep. <laughs> so those will cut very easily with, the, with our buzz saw. So why don't we get our safety glasses on, our gloves, and start tearing this out. Cool, man. show you a trick how to get that wire out of there you take our bar right on top we're just gonna split this in half <laughs> there we go <laughs> nice. the saw blade doesn't have to come near the wire all right well get the circular saw and we'll cut here remove this and see what we're up against back here sounds good right there let's just see what we got here all right let's remove part of this stud it looks like there's a joint right here but I can't tell yet let's keep going all right I'm gonna make a cut right here I've got my circular saw blade depth set at an inch and a half and then I just need to be careful not to catch the door casing <laughs> All right, gang, these two studs right here, there's just some surface rot. We're gonna leave these two. We're gonna remove this section and this section. I'm gonna make an initial cut with my circular saw and then we'll finish it with the buzz saw.
All right, guys, we've done all the rotten cut out of the, the studs. And so let's check the sills. This one is pretty good. It's really good. And this one's fine. We do have a little rot on this sill plate that's headed that way on this exterior wall, but it's just right here on the end. So we're not going to try to repair this. And on this one, it's fine, except for this, about these four inches on the end here. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave these and we're going to go outside to the saw and we're going to cut a new piece of pressure treated to go from here to this outside wall here. And we're going to overlap this one. We'll notch this so it fits underneath. And then we'll put a new one from here to here on top of the existing. So let's go out to the saw and cut those boards. So here's our new piece of treated that we're going to fasten to the existing sill. Just notched it around the foundation bolts. Now something like this, it's almost impossible to get rid of all the old rot. We have a corner, an exterior corner. We have this intersection of this exterior wall with this wall. So really tough to repair that. And the same over here. We got rid of what? We got rid of most of it, right? Yeah. So let's put this one down and then we'll fit this one. Thing. I think that looks good, dude. Yep. I think it looks <laughs> way better than it did before. Yeah, let's put this little guy in and then we'll do that wall. Cool. Alrighty guys, we got this repaired. Check it out. Looks pretty good. You have plenty of backing for our new backer board, plenty of solid backing. And then with this stud going all the way to the top and the glue all sistered onto our little repair piece, it's great. I love that. It looks awesome. Yep. All right, let's build this wall real quick. So right here, we got a piece of treated. We're going to fasten it to the slab with our favorite anchors. Kind of a drive anchor. Let's get it done. That shower keeps dripping on. <laughs> enough oh yeah you want to put it four more <laughs> all right we got that in nice and easy now let's go cut this piece these three studs and what do you think you want to put one on top of here jordan i guess we'll see but to be honest i don't think we'll need them all right we'll see after because that's this part piece that's in. huge that's a lot of studs that's right true. there we've got six right here already yeah all right Gang, always leave this long, like in a doorway or something, and then cut it off. Otherwise, you'll split it with these nails.
Nice. Okay. Looks like a professional did it. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> using a framing gun next to a live water line. Bingo. All right, guys, that's the framing in the shower, all repaired, super solid. I'm really happy with that. Yeah, it looks real good. Yep. Feels strong, looks strong. We glued it, nailed it. Even put a new stud in, a couple new studs. Yeah, I bought 16. I think we used 12 of them. It's amazing how many you use. So the next step is we're gonna fix this plumbing. So a couple things, this was way too far out. So we're gonna move this valve body back. And yes, we know this is not correct. It should be a pressure balancing valve, but the owners love this, so we're gonna keep it. And then I don't really like all this right here. So I'm probably gonna just flip this thing over. It doesn't matter on this, hot or cold. And we're gonna fix the electrical. And what else? We're gonna tear this floor up. Yeah, that'll be in the next video. The owners decided new floor. <laughs> So for everybody who's saying it's going to turn into a whole remodel, you are right. Yep. That's going to be a wrap, guys. If you like the video, be sure to like the video down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave us a comment. We're loving all the support. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one. Woo!